If you ever wonder why Gen X and older millennials act the way we do, just remember we grew up on shows like Ricky Lake, Richard Bay, Jenny Jones, and my favorite, Maury. This year marks the final season of The Maury Show. Shout out to Mr. Povich for saving countless men from babies that weren't theirs. You are not the father. <laughs> and confirming deadbeat dads. You are the father. <laughs> Back when Marisol was testing like 20 dudes, Maury had other kind of episodes too. I used to love the I went from geek to chic episodes. Joan used to look like a wingless wasp, and now she's super hot and confronts her high school bullies who are now balding and shaped like a treble clef. My favorite was probably the most toxic, when they sent them disrespectful teens to boot camp. It'd be some suburban Joan trying to be hard. That's right, that's right. I sucked 12 dicks in a Sonic parking lot for some tots and a slushy. My mom can't tell me what to do. Some little country girl like, I smack my mama punch my brother in the throat, and I snort meth. My mom can't tell me <laughs> These little girls used to be on stage cheering for each other while the crowd booed them. And instead of getting these girls therapy or, you know, trying to get to the root of the issue, Maury would bring out D. West. <laughs> Yo, my mans used to be out of pocket. Oh, so you want to suck dick for milkshakes? Oh, okay. You want to snort meth off the football captain's dick? <laughs> like, what? Fam, the audience wasn't even privy to that information. Oh, oh, you want to have sex on a monastery stoop listening to the best of Chingy? Boot camp. He used to take them off set and pass them off to drill sergeants to try to exercise the sexual promiscuity out of them. Oh, what? You don't like sucking dick no more? You want to ride something? Ride these sit-ups. Poor kid just crying into the camera for her mama. Mama. I promise I won't give head in the Ace Hallway parking lot anymore. When it wasn't boot camp, he took him to prison. See, sucking dick only gonna lead you to sell block B. And if that wasn't bad enough, he used to also take him to the morgue, where he'd put their moms in caskets. Some sad music would play and D. West would be like, that's your mama, look at her. That's what's gonna happen to her if you keep having sex for champ burgers and checker fries. The end of the episode would be the little girls coming back out dressed in something floral with some kitten heels, and the moms crying at their overnight change fueled by corporate punishment and mental trauma. My baby's back. Mama, I promise I'm done having sex for Dipsy Doodles. The 90s and noughties were a wild time. You just had to be there to understand. And looking back, I, I no longer do. Enjoy your retirement though, Maury. Shout out to D-West and Marisol. Feel free to leave your favorite Maury moment in the comments.